Namaskar and welcome to BioAffairs. So today I will be teaching you antigen antibody reactions most prominent role of affinity and ability. In immunology, if you are studying immunology in depth, you will be knowing that antigen affinity towards its antibody and the ability is two separate thing but very very important thing in antigen antibody reaction or antigen antibody binding whatever you say so let's understand the concept from beginning first antigen antibody binding occurs through we know that is epitope paratope binding right so what is epitope and what is paratope epitope is the antigenic determinants present on the surface of an antigen it may be a bacteria it may be a virus it may be a fungi or any kind of antigen but the markers which will be recognized by the antibodies are called epitopes or antigenic determinants and what is paratope paratope is present on the surface or not surface you can say antigen binding sites where the antigen epitopes going to bind or you can say the antibodies site where the antigen will bind that is called paratope paratope present on the antibody epitope present on the antigen now this epitope paratope interaction or binding is mediated through very essential weak interactions those are hydrogen bonds electrostatic interaction hydrophobic interactions and van der waals interactions so you can see that all these interactions to happen the antigen and antibody must have to come very close proximity so this forces only work when two molecules are in close proximity so first thing this binding occurs through these interactions okay now i'm going to affinity so affinity defines a antigen's single antigen's binding capability or the bond formation capability with the epitope so antibodies paratope binding capability with the antigens paratope sorry epitope that is a single site of binding i will draw and i will explain what is affinity and what is ability so let's dig in so let's understand the affinity now so affinity is the total strength of non covalent interactions or the interactions between a single epitope of an antigen and a single paratope of an antibody so i have drawn the picture here if you see carefully this antigen i have miniaturized here with the antigen marker or the epitope here so the red one is the epitope so this is the epitope with its paratope so this total region the total strength the strength between these two sites epitope and paratope with its non covalent interaction total is called the affinity of antigen antibody binding reaction i hope i am clear that antigen antibody reactions measured through a total of the single epitope or single paratope interaction this is called affinity now affinity can be measured by equilibrium dialysis method and a surface plasma resonance method these are the two methods through which you can measure a particular affinity of an antigen towards its cognate antibody or the antibody towards its cognate antigen now we will be observing affinity what is the difference between antigen affinity and ability and what is ability why it is very very important now i'll draw a side by side comparison so you'll be understanding easily 
so avidity it signifies the total affinity of all binding sites in a given antibody if it is multivalent and a multiple epitope containing antigen so the very important part is it has to be a multivalent antibody now multivalent means you have read five antibodies igm igg iga ige and igd right so iga is dimer igm is pentamer and suppose igg is a monomer so igg is having only two valencies or two paratopes for binding either a single antigen or a uh, sorry either a single epitope or two epitopes but in case of igm they have five well five pentamer structure so they have 10 valencies that means each antibody structure will be able to bind multiple epitopes in a particular antigen so i have drawn the, this antigen here in a smaller way so that you can understand that all the valencies are occupied all the fragment for antigen binding sites for antibodies are now occupied with the epitopes that is why the total strength of all the affinities at particular epitope paratope epitope paratope epitope paratope interaction is much more higher the strength will be much more higher compared to single valency or the igg binding to a particular epitope so igg with double valency is much more weaker and it signifies affinity because with affinity we know a single paratope and a single epitope interaction that is called affinity but in case here a total single epitope paratope epitope paratope epitope so here 10 valencies and 10 binding sites with 10 epitopes with 10 paratopes total signifies the total strength and the binding is much more stronger that is why avidity is much more strengthened or stronger than the affinity because it needs more energy to dissociate the antibody from the antigen because you have to break all the bonds from this antigen this paratope this antigen this paratope this antigen this uh, sorry paratope epitope paratope epitope the, all the bonds you have to break with more energy whereas a single or a double bond or a double valencies can be easily detached so i hope you are clear with the avidity and affinity but here one more thing i want to say that is cross reactivity sometimes what happen if you give similar types of antigens suppose a similar antigen this is the circular way i am now oval antigen shapes i am drawing to make you understand that this is not the same antigen but similar or homologous antigen you can say that time this igg or iga may bind to this kind of antigen or the epitope this is called cross reactivity so it should bind the number one antigen actual cases but somehow the paratope is not able to identify or be specific towards the particular antigen or the epitope because the similarity between the epitope parameters or the composition of epitopes make them confuse the antibody gets confused whether it is a original antigen or a homologous antigen so that sometimes so cross reactivity so avidity affinity non covalent interactions and cross reactivity all are very important avidity is much more a choice first choice for measuring the strength of an antigen antibody reaction and that is why in physiological condition avidity will 
give you a more prominent result than antigen uh, sorry affinity so i hope you are clear with the class if you have any doubts ask me in the comment section or you can join my telegram channel also i have given the link in description so that uh, you can contact me directly thank you if my classes are really helping you in your studies and it is really clearing your concept and if you really like my classes give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel by affairs this type of subscription and likes give me the enthusiasm to prepare more futuristic classes for you guys to make your classes more conceptual